In this video, we're going to continue on with the last lab. So I'm going to go ahead and label the, the streets. Our goal is to finish up the plat, the plat that we've been working on the past few lab exercises. So I'm also going to show you in this um, exercise the how to create the curve tables, and then we're going to discuss the um, the notes, the plat notes, and the dedication portion. And then we should be wrapping it up. So let me go ahead and create some of these labels and then we'll get started. I'm gonna start with um, my line labels and I'm using the FAU lot label and dist distance that we created earlier. So go ahead and start labeling if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and do this and be right back. Notice that these are 231 continuous lines, so I'll need to break these. So I can break these and then, um, let's see, the end point and then it shifts it over. So those are my options. So if you're not individual lines, then you'll need to break them into two. Other option is, is I can trim. Um, T for the cutting edge, pick this line and this line, hit enter, and then do a fence. Oops, let's try that again. Trim T between this line and this line. And F for fence, make sure my snaps aren't on so I can pick a point here and I can pick a point down here, hit enter, and then I am going to extend um, to the boundary, B for boundary, click the center line, hit enter, F for fence, and then I'm going to pick all the way up here. Okay, so that it's extended the line, okay? Granted, it shifted all of the ones that I snapped to, and I do have my midpoint snap on to get the lines to the center. All right, so if you've had that problem previously, then that's fine. All right, I'll clean these up as I go along. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add the dimensions. Remember what I said about breaking these at the intersection? So I'll need to break the line at the end point here. And then I'm going to extend this line back to that edge. I'll have to relabel the center line. Okay, same with this. Break this edge the end point here and then extend this down label the center line okay all of these are labeled so that's good that's all labeled this edge needs to be labeled your 
right-of-way line needs to be labeled. Let's take a look at the right-of-way line in the example and see if the right-of-way line is any bigger textile. It's not, neither is the center line. So they're all the same style. So sometimes people will actually make the center line and the um, right-of-way line a little bit bigger in text. We know that we need to flip this side. So just remember that this needs to be flipped. So you click on the text and then it'll automatically put a contextual tab up and then flip label. Same here, you'll want to flip that label. You can flip multiple labels sometimes at the same time. So flip. Let's go ahead and continue adding labels. So this right of way line, right of way line, right of way line, right of way line. We'll have to flip those, so no worries. <clears throat> now on that, we'll actually have to uh, add to the each. So I'm going to flip that one already. Add to the curve. to that curve, to that curve, and to that line, to that line, to that curve. All right, and we'll do these lines here. Now, the other thing is, is notice we have the curves that we'll have to deal with on the interior, and that's where our tables come into play, okay? Get these labeled. Get this line labeled, this overall line labeled. We'll flip that also, that line labeled. I just do a distance on that one. So click that, flip that label, put it to the center. <clears throat> so we need to label the rest of them like this. <clears throat> That's also tagged to the wrong point. So let me put the end point on here. To there. There we go. All right, <clears throat> you could also, I don't know, I don't recommend this, but you can also copy because this can actually get you in trouble. If you copy the label, um, you're not actually measuring them. And the, the one of the reasons we go step by step to measuring each one, like doing the, the lines between each, is to make sure that we are, it is the true dimension that we're anticipating. Okay, so we're just adding these. Snaps, using your snaps is the best. Um, I actually should flip all these, but since I've already started it, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. And then you can actually highlight, select all those, and it should allow you to flip the label to the other side. Of course it doesn't. Sometimes I don't know if it's faster to do this back individually. Um, I wonder if I can do two at a time. I know you can do multiple labels, but for whatever reason, it's... Mm. 
not letting me. All right, go ahead and label. I'm gonna go ahead and, and label myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pause button so you're not watching me label, so I'll have the majority of this done when I come back. All right, now I've got this portion done. Notice that I've only created a portion of this because the rest of this is arc. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the straight line labels, add those, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to, to break the lines up to do the arcs in pieces. Because technically, we have one overall, <clears throat> excuse me, one overall curve, and then each individual lot gets its own curve in between the points. So let me do all the lines and I'll come back, show you what I've got, and then we'll move to the next um, portion with the curves. Hey, I just wanted to show you, I made an error when I trimmed it. I forgot to extend, just in case you all do the same. Um, I forgot to extend that back because I trimmed it from the uh, easement line to easement line. So make sure if you did what I did and you trimmed it, um, you extend the lot lines back, so they should be 115, okay? All right, I still have to move them over, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause again, I'm gonna continue my labeling, and then I'll get right back with you. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, and I've completed all of the labeling um, for each of the lots. Uh, I still need to clean up a little bit because I've got these not in the center. Um, but I let me change that. Uh, what I want to show you next um, is the uh, uh, creating the um, the lines that we need for like the the portions of the lots that um, that are inside this curve. If I can get this off. Okay, so the the portions of the curve that I have to recreate is there's different ways that you can do it. You can go ahead and let's say create a polyline and go to the end point here and then to the end point here. Oops, I want to start actually back here. So I'm going to start at the end point back here. I'm going to turn endpoint on, not midpoint. So I start here because I want to be able to trace and then I'm going to hit A for arc and then I'm going to come up to there for the arc. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to change that layer to a um, to the no plot layer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want multiple lines to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I thought I had a no plot layer. So I'm going to create a no plot layer if I don't already have one. So, um, or you can call it, you know, curves. I, people do different things, call it different things. Let me move this over a little bit more. I don't, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to call it zero, no plot, lot. Um, your company will tell you what you wanted to call it. I will either put it on a no plot layer and I can freeze it off. Okay. So I'm going to leave it white. So I'm going to change that to the zero, no plot, lot curves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it at each of the endpoints. Granted, I'm going to end up having to extend it back to make sure that the length is proper and all that, but that allows me to extend and make sure that it goes back to the lot lines, okay? I'm not sure why that one doesn't want to go back. There it goes. Okay, now 
you're going to be labeling it the same, you know, you're going to do a single segment and I'm going to go ahead and oops, forgot to extend that one back. Extend that one back. Now I can get rid of, no, I can't. I can get rid of this portion, remove that vertex. So I got that little bitty arc there. So now I'm going to add and I'm going to add the curves for each of the lots. Now this is why you need those, those uh, tags. Okay. Now the tags are frustrating in the sense that the labeling isn't always in sequence of what you want. See how it says tag table numbering. Okay. So what I'm going to do is on the tags that I just made, Before I'm going to undo that, guys. Sorry. I I don't want my I don't see where my original one is. It needs a a length about 200. There's a radius. I'm also going to change the label style um, on this because that's just too long. We want decimal places. Okay, so let me do this first. Let me go ahead and change the tag style. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, pull this down and edit current selection. When I see something that I need to fix, I, I need to stop and fix it right away. You can do it however sequence when you see something. I If I don't fix it right away, I'll forget and then be like, what happened? So that should be two decimal places. Okay. So that looks good. Now I gotta change my delta. My deltas, I'm gonna change that to uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I don't want decimal, I want degrees, minutes, and seconds, and I want precision to one second, and then arrow over, okay. Apply, and okay. All right, so what we're going to do now is on the tag, see how it says journal curve label style? I'm going to change and I'm going to change that to a tag. Right now, I don't have a tag on this label. So I'm going to edit that current selection again. And there's the tag table. So that's the tag and then go change that to 0.08, apply, and OK, and close. Oops, I didn't mean to close that. So I want to change that to a tag. And what I need to do, usually I could just pull this down and have it say, well, I could do that too. OK, let me show you a different way. Two different ways. So this one, it doesn't isn't already set up with tag labels. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is let's try this. Underneath annotate, see how it says add tables. I am going to add a um, line and curve table. I'm going to start with the curve table. And what I'm going to do, so it's got length radius. We'll fix this, but there's multiple styles. We'll need to take a look at what... Uh, the style this table is at. And I'm having a, there we go. So let me get this up here. So on this one, it's got curve, delta, radius, length, chord direction, and chord length. So that's what my curve table needs to have. Right now it doesn't, but I'm going to go ahead and create it with what we've got. Because right now it's only got length, radius, and delta. It does not have chord length or chord direction but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to click on this. It says no tag selected. So I'm going to click on that and I am going to click on that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That's a, an actual link. So that's okay. Um, and I'm going to hit enter. And so it says convert all labels to tag mode. This will create a child tag style, and that's fine. 
and then hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to be allow me to create the tables. The tables have how many rows, how many stacks. We'll leave this as default and we'll clean it up um, in a minute. Make sure it says dynamic. Okay. Also, I just leave this as default and, and um, take a look at what I want to see how I want to change it. So I'm going to put it over here. And then it, what it does is it creates all these tags. Notice they are not in order, and I'm not sure why it does that sometimes. All right, so now we've got these tags listed here. Um, what I need to check, and I'm going to send this to the back, display order, send to the back. <clears throat> and this label right here, I'm going to relabel it because I need to see which tag that actually is. So I'm going to go line and curve, single, and add. And I'm adding it to the purple one right there. So it's the one that says 240 feet. So if I come over here, the one that says 240 feet is C3. Now, that's this one here. Um, I'm going to delete that tag and what it'll do is it'll get rid of from over here. Okay. Um, you can also click on that and update the contents. I was hoping that it would update the uh, numbering. Oh, it does put cord length. I didn't realize that. Okay. Mm, table properties, table properties. I'm not why, well, it's put them in order now, but okay. So <clears throat> I would actually want this tag here to be my first one. So I'm actually going to undo this. I try very hard um, to pick the curves in sequence, like make sure that all my center line curves or my, my right away curves are the first ones that I pick. So let me go back and... undo all that. I'm going to keep undoing until I get rid of that table. Sorry, I should have had this prepped a little bit better. Okay, so I'm looking for the one that has 240, right? And I'm going to go ahead and pull that leader line out. So that's the length of the 240. Notice everybody else's is, I'm going to pull these out just to show you. That one doesn't need to be pulled out. This one does. Okay. So the curves that I want to do first, um, let me pull this back over for a second, is it? it's never going to be perfect like the, the, the plat. It's going to be hard to recreate unless I do it as plain text. See how this is C1? So they picked this curve once. The first one. So they did the uh, center line and they did the um, right aways as their first selection. Also, notice that they've got uh, curves over here. We'll draw this up in a minute in the next video, but I want to go ahead and do uh, the curve table right now. This is the only curves that we have to deal with, so let's do this right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my curves on my right away. I'm actually going to leave the curves on the center line because I think they look fine. You don't have to always use the curve tables, um, but it's your choice. Uh, the, this in the, These surveyors, these geomatic uh, engineers, they decided to uh, use the curve table or use curves 
labels and tags on the center line. I'm not going to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here to the table and line and curve table add curve table and now I'm only going to select the right-of-way line so the right-of-way is um, let's start with this one right here and then that's a curve that's a curve that's a curve that's a curve and that one's a curve um, the overall curve here we'll go ahead and do this one also uh, so the I'm looking for the one with the longest length because you can see that there's a little portion of a curve here that's 42 feet so this one is my overall curve of 42 I think it's the longest one Let me stop there before I select it. I want to see which ones are which, okay? So I'm going to hit enter because you can always add curves uh, to the table. So that's no problem. All right. So on this one, I want to see. So there's a portion. I'll add that in a minute. And there's a portion, right? So I'm going to send those to the back because I want to see what that overall, so that's a length and there's the overall curve. So let's add a tag. Um, oops, it's kind of stuck. Okay. Okay, so it is the forty two ninety. Um, and then there's the second curve, which is thirty two. So you can see that there is a portion of a curve. Trying to see if that's a line or not. I think those are all curves in there. I can tell if it's a curve if I tell it to, to pick to the center. That looks like a line. Let's add a label. The other thing is, um, if I pull this, wow, everything is just running really slow today, guys. Sorry. If I pull this, see how it doesn't want to, it jumps. So my guess is Yeah, that's a curve. But I can't tell if it's two curves. That's just very, very odd that there would be two curves there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. I can relabel them. My computer is acting up today, so please just bear with me for a moment. Ugh, should have hit enter instead of escape. Hmm.
Yep, see it is a curve. It allows me to see curve con convert to a line. Why would I have two curves in there? Hmm. Okay, so I need to go ahead and I am going to bring this to the front. You know what I am going to do? Hold on. I am going to tell it to put all that on the, and put it on by layer. And I am going to turn that layer off. So just for right now, I'm going to turn it off. So I'm not picking the, the curves underneath of it, right? Looks like there's a line underneath of those anyway. Display order. Send to the back. That's what I was afraid of. There's mo that. This is why it's it's very tough to um, label. So patience. All right. I'm do. So we have multiple labels, display orders, send to the back. I don't want multiple. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the one underneath this one. Oh man, that's why it is. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to delete it. I just don't like how it has to. So I'll have to add a curve back. So lesson learned. So I'm going to annotate um, the curves and then I'll add it to my table. So add line and curve, add. And I'm only going to focus on the curves right now. I'll come back. Okay, that got rid of that multiple curve. Somebody must have trimmed it up for a reason before I got to it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and label this one again. There we go. So now we have three curves. Fantastic. So, all right. Since we've already got this table started, and of course it's in a, a, not the right order, so I'm going to come up here. Once you click on it, you can add items. And then you're going to pick. As you can tell, I'm not the best at tables. Really? So I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to pick that one. And I'm going to pick that one. And hit enter. Click that, click OK. Okay, now here's the thing. See, it jumped to six. So, I'm going to undo. And then what I want to do before I change those. So you're learning all sorts of things that when you screw up how to fix. Okay. So what I want to do is in the annotation here, um, underneath the, the line, change that CT table tag numbers, change that back to five, apply and okay. All right. Now, when I come to my table and I add items and I pick it, it'll start at five. So you have to be really um, careful about the numbering. Five, six, and seven. Hit enter. 
and convert and then okay now we don't normally have them pulled out like that so when you click on it you can send it back now I want them on the top of the line okay we'll put all the other curves on the bottom of the line now I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the tape the the uh, right of way line curves all right so but I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and in the next video I'll start back over